do you think that maybe, maybe that if more people had known about Hunter Biden's laptop and Hunter Biden's business dealings that clearly were connected to Joe Biden. Hunter Biden was a crack addict who had no expertise in energy, who was getting all this money per month from a Ukrainian energy company. Do you think that is sort of relevant to what's going on in Ukraine now? Do you think that's sort of relevant to Joe Biden becoming president? But they we couldn't talk about it then. And then of course, my favorite slow motion conservative, Bill Maher, even he gets these things right, usually two years late. The argument to me is like, has Twitter failed? in setting themselves up in the past as the judge of what can go out there. And I would say, yes, <clears throat> you have. You failed when you threw the New York Post off of Twitter for talking about Hunter Biden's emails, and it turned out that was a real story. Right. You failed when you said we couldn't read about whether COVID had come from a lab. You failed. Did you read about this Babylon Bee? Do you know what the Babylon Bee is? I didn't know this. No. It's like the Christian version of the onion. They got flagged for, they posted a funny video. This is funny to them. Okay. Sensitive content, Twitter said. In the video, they were making fun of Twitter for being too sensitive. <laughs> this is so through the looking glass. Okay, so you guys know, and by the way, I know that if some of you uh, are, are annoyed when I keep playing these Bill Maher clips because you're like, you're, you kind of want to smack me through the screen. I can feel it. It's like, Dave, he's never going to fully get there. He's never going to fully get there. But I'm going to keep trying at least a little bit more because I think that that slow motion thing that he's doing needs to be accelerated. And I think maybe we can get the rubber to meet the road with him. Maybe we can. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I think maybe we can. And even if we can't get him, maybe we can get more of his audience to realize what the truth is, right? Because hopefully if the algorithms don't manipulate everything, there might be a person out there who searches Bill Maher on the YouTube and comes across one of my videos and is like, oh, this guy actually nailed what's been going on in the back of my head when I watch real time, why it's not fully connecting. What's interesting there is Bill Maher finally is coming around, right? He's coming around and going, they did fail when it came to this New York Post story. Now, it's interesting. Bill Maher didn't cover the New York Post story on his show when it was happening. Now, a whole bunch of us did, and we were called right-wing maniacs for it. We were told we were going to be censored on YouTube, and many of us were. Uh, but he didn't do it when it mattered. That's what I mean about slow-motion conservative. Then when it gets easy to do something, when the New York Times is like, oh, yo, you're not going to believe this, guys, but it's a year and a half later, and Biden's already president. So, uh, yeah, you could talk about the laptop. Then Bill Maher is like, yeah, why didn't we talk about the laptop? <laughs> okay, so he says that. Uh, he also, to the idea that you're going to say, okay, well, Twitter uh, should have done something and not, you know, basically should have not done anything. I should say they should have not banned the New York Post and everything else. It's like, well, you know, they probably shouldn't have banned the president of the United States. Where were you on that, Bill? Yeah, nowhere on that one, too. You did call for a recession, though, to get rid of Trump. Uh, so, again... This is like, are you getting this or not? Uh, and then, oh, and then the lab leak. He mentions the lab leak. And it's like, yeah, Bill, where were you on the lab leak for a year? You, you were afraid to talk about it too for a year. I don't know if the lab leak is true or not, but at least we were, some of us were asking these questions. So just come on, Bill. <laughs> and I know the producers watch this show. I have my insiders. I know you're watching. Just get there, Bill. I don't even want to do the fucking show. I really don't. I don't even, I'm not even that interested in talking to him anymore. I'm honestly not, but just get there, man. Get there. Send me a nice bottle of wine at the end. That would be, a bottle of tequila would be better, actually. Uh, but the point of all of this is that the election was manipulated by big tech. So it is not disconnected when you see public people having their accounts blown up, Jordan Peterson or me being suspended. When you just follow those dots backwards and you go, boy, they were censoring other things back then. And gosh darn it, did those things have an effect on the election? And it's yes, yes that they did. So you guys know, I like to go back to some things that happened in the past so we don't forget, right? Because we just forget things that happened literally two weeks ago.